विल कम क्वेश्चन विल कम बेस्ड ऑन द फैक्टोरियल एंड नंबर ऑफ जीरोज जस्ट I told you after every interval of five, number of zero will change by one. After inter, if that multiple of five is a multiple of uh, five is square, then number of zero will jump by two. If it is a multiple of five to the power cube, number of zero will change by three. If it is five to the power four, number of zero will jump by four. This we know. But just suppose that multiple of five, what is the that juncture? That is five k or twenty five k or one twenty five k or whatever is there. If that we are converting in the form of variable. We are not expressing in the form of numbers. What will happen? Question will become much predictable. Means so many possibility will come, and you have to predict very carefully. You have to predict very carefully. Just uh, same thing I have done here. This question, everything I convert in variable. Everything you will not find anything in concrete number in this question. And. For analysis purpose, solving this type of question, it is much much needed for your CAT preparation. Just for solving, because it is a learning. It is a learning. It will give you a lot of understanding how number we having. N one factorial has Z one zeros at the end. N two factorial has Z two zero at the end. If N two minus N one is between one to twelve, if N two minus N one is one to twelve, means it will be. Minimum one and maximum twelve. This difference. Then the range of z. What is z? Z two minus z one, where n one and n two are four digit number. After reading one time this question, कुछ पल्ले नहीं पड़ेगा. You will not able to understand what to do. कुछ दिया ही नहीं है number. Nothing is given. Only thing is given. N two minus n one. That difference is between one to twelve. Beyond that, nothing is given. How to start analysis? Only one clue has given n1 and n2 are four digit number. Only one clue n1 and n2 are four digit number. Means from here just will think if it is a four digit number, then just will think in the line of power of five. Why? Because at the power of five or when it will change by multiple of five, at that point only number of zeros are changing. Then first we'll take in picture five to the power four. It is a six twenty five. Then we'll start with five to the power five. That is three one two five. This four digit number. This number we can take nearby somewhere here. Somewhere near to this number we can take. This is four digit number. Correct. Five to the power five equal to three one two five. Now, afterwards another condition is given. This difference between these two number cannot go beyond twelve. If it is not going beyond twelve, then how many option you have? Multiple option you have, and based on that you have to decide the range of it. Now just will try to make it as tabular format for understanding purpose. Just to take n one equal to three one two zero and n two equal to three one two four. Just suppose. Don't calculate number of zeros. Again here, if you are start to calculate number of zero, then you will be trap in problem. You will face lot of calculation. Just suppose number of zero is n. We are not interested what is the value of n, but number of zeros are n. If number is n one is three one two zero and n two is three one two four. If n one is three one two five, n two is three one two nine, and what will happen? It will change by five n plus five. We have to maximize to take the range. We have to consider the maximum changes due to we are running around this number because this is a five to the power five. If ordinary number will be there, it is multiple of five, then it will change by only one zero. If it is a multiple of five to the power five, it will change by five due to we are running this number. We can't take five to the power six because it will be, it will it will not a four digit number due to we are stick on this number. Around this only maximum change we will able to get it. For minimum there is no problem. For minimum there is no problem. We can take any value. We will we will able to get the minimum number of minimum number of difference of zero. But to get the maximum we should understand this. Three one two five just it will go from twenty four to three one two four to three one two five number of zero will jump by five. Three one three zero again it will jump by one because this is just multiple of five. It is not multiple of any square or something. Again, three one three five three one four zero. It will jump by one. One thing we can say: this maximum jump can be seven. 
if difference we are taking here maximum di difference how much can be 3120 to 3140 means total range is 20 this range if we can just trim it like this way 3124 to 3136 difference is 12 and number of zero can jump by 7 then range can be 0 to 7 this is difference of zeros of factorial n1 and factorial n2 